So in our last video we created a few input variants so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to see how we can use those in our designs so we're going to go ahead and duplicate that I'm going to delete this and I'm going to call this form and what I'll do is I'm going to go to assets here I'm going to search input And I'm going to drag our first input in and then I'm going to group that and make an auto layout. Well, this is going to go down. So what we want first are columns. So I'm going to duplicate those and I want this to be first name, last name. email and message I'm going to select all of them and set that to set the width to fill container Let's sort that out I'm just going to make this a bit longer I'm going to center right align it on the artboard and I'm going to group our relevant fields. So we have first name and last name. I feel like they could be on one row. I'm going to auto lay out that. I'm going to set this container to fill container. And then I'm going to change the order of this. And then set these two to, oops, not have contents, fill container. So set that to fill container and the height can be hard contents so that groups our first form group and what I'll do is I'll actually increase the height of this perfect so that would be our form and I'm actually gonna come back here and add um, a button so I'm gonna go submit I'm gonna group that auto layout again and then 15 top and bottom radius is 4 I'm going to give that a background of yep that works for me I'm going to rename that as button default and then I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to name this button forward slash default disabled and then I'd set that to 50% and then I'm going to create a component out of them both and I'm going to combine them as variants awesome so now we have our form fields and our buttons so I'm going to come back to our form here And I'm going to drag in our submit button but I want to change the variant down here to disabled because none of our form has been filled out now I'm going to center align that so that's pretty much our form pretty simple and I guess I'll make this form default and then I'll duplicate that and I will start to make some of these fields valid so let's do this. And I'll put my name in. And I'm also going to make. Yeah, I'll make these food valid as well. Perfect. 
effects. I am a message. And we can change the state to default. I'm actually going to change the button of that button, the name of that button, sorry. Because it's more of an active state, it's not. It's not default. Active. Fine. So we have our default. We have our valid. And I'm going to make one more. And we're going to invalidate some of these fields. So let's leave that blank. change some of the styles on here fill container perfect and we need to change this back to disabled and email fields please add please enter a valid email 